Well, I come back. Today we parked the trailer at the factory and when we came out, we found this thing here on the trailer. It's some sort of oldish combustion analyzer. The reason why I wanted it is because this is a Tektronix 2245 scope with original Tektronix rack mount kit. So, we'll take it off the trailer and have a closer look. There is also an old dyno with no rotor, but I have the same and I need the coils. And I don't know if that was on the trailer, I don't know. Maybe they just put it on a piece of shafting. It's not, it's not light, but it's got a nice trolley which we can reuse for something else, I think. Uh, yeah, we need to look inside. It's mainly for the scope, because it's a four-channel scope. Hopefully it works, we'll see that in a minute. Let's take it off the trailer and have a look. Here we have it in its full glory. It comes with a camera mount. I was hoping the camera is at the bottom of the cabinet, but it wasn't. Um, yeah, it's dusty. It looks very good inside, actually. Look here, is cabinet was fairly tight. There's no dust and dirt inside. It's pretty dusty outside, but uh, let's get rid of the rack mount kit and uh, clean it in a little bit. Maybe I can take that camera mount off. I don't know exactly how it comes off. I need to figure that out. And uh, then we'll fire it up and see what it does. So we gave it a good clean and uh, looks alright, the panel looks good. There is some dirt behind the the screen, I need to take that off, uh, there's a lot of gunk. But if we look inside, this thing looks pretty good. Hasn't seen a lot of running hours. There is a little bit of dirt on the high voltage, so here as well. But it looks it looks pretty good. I think it's safe to switch it on. Yeah, I had to take the I had to take the cover off, otherwise I can't get the rack mount kit off. So let's fire it up and see what it does. Well, seems to work. Trigger's nice. It's the Tektronix, you can see it. It's <laughs> it's just sharp, you know, and uh, the trace is really good. Uh, let's check ta channel two. Channel two, I'll read that. Trigger source channel two. Yeah, so channel 2 works nice as well, trigger works great, that's what you want. Okay, we've got a working Tektronix as usual with the fan, but I think it works okay. I need to check the other channels, I put the cover back on and uh, put it on the shelf because the old Rodin Schwarz has some issues with the switches. So that's gonna be our replacement for that, for now at least. We need to look at it. The sensitivity switches are really, really scratchy on that, on that scope. Uh, it's just not the same build quality as the Tektronix. Um, yeah, it is a lot of electronics in that scope and uh, if they die, I'll I think it's the 20, the 2000 series got these hybrid amplifiers. So if there is a problem, uh, it's probably not worth fixing it because you can't get the parts anymore. But this thing seems to work at least briefly. We ch we check the other functions. Um, well, let's put the cover back on and uh, do a few more tests.
those text scopes apart it's pretty simple there are four screws here at the back here and here and then you can take the plastic off the, they're very long actually and when you want to take the cover off don't forget that screw here because that's the grounding screw if that's there you can't you can't push to pull the cover off we gave the cover with of a clean it looks pretty good actually apparently it was a rack mount so there is no handle and no feet let me turn it around the feet here are missing uh, because it was rack mount apart from the shoe scratches the thing looks pretty good let's check the serial number so the serial number is B 026409 if someone knows when that thing was built I guess it was late 80s probably early 90s just from the rest of the kit all right let's power it up again and uh, have a little bit, have a bit of a play with it so while we're at we're gonna take the screen off it's these two screws and I think it just flips out let me take that out so and that's how it looks with the screen removed here and you can see I don't know if that's visible but there's quite a bit of dirt behind it also on the screen so we we make everything clean put it back together and we should have even we should have an even sharper trace well just another member for our tectronics family we got the 465 here we got a 464 here and we got a 555 downstairs because it's so big i can't put it up here it's uh really big i may do a recommissioning on that as at some point it's sitting there for ages and that's what i did with it i found some old polaroids in the pocket there um they just used the polaroid camera and uh, took some pictures off the screen looks pretty good actually just checking out channel 3 channel 3 and 4 have very limited uh, capabilities it's only 1 volts and 5 volts um, you can trigger on 3 and 4 but the input settings are very limited so channel 1 and 2 are full sized full fledged channels uh, channel 3 and 4 are yeah some sort of auxiliary channels if you want to look at something which isn't too challenging can't change coupling nothing it's just uh, the way it is all right just change the intensity a little bit hopefully the readout is now better visible on camera we're on channel 2 now um, yeah everything looks crisp and nice shame that it's not a 24 40 or something like that uh, I think the 2245 was the bottom of the range of those but yeah it's a nice scope and uh, we'll put it to use well just exploring some functionality we got uh, got some nice cursors here as uh, so you can actually move that away here and uh, do some measurements and you can do voltage as well so just figure out what your voltage is that's peak to peak 12 mini volts and uh, it tells me 10 megahertz and sorry for the glare we're feeding 10 megahertz so nice one I think we're happy so far with it there's not much more to say um, I need to familiarize myself with it because there is quite a few functions which I'm not aware of <laughs> I need to read the manual which I don't really like um, anyway I'm gonna do it not much no. nothing to repair today 
it was basically just rescuing that lovely scope from the scrap bin and uh, that's about it thanks for watching thanks for subscribing until next time